Hello guys, welcome back to another Division 2 video. So I got a request to make an Eagle Bearer build for PvE and I decided to try headshot damage instead of just, you know, critical hit damage, right? And I came up with this super hard hitting headshot build that just absolutely shreds NPC's armor. It's extremely powerful and to be honest, the Bighorn is actually a better weapon to use with this build instead of the Eagle Bearer since the Bighorn's talent will basically be increasing your headshot damage. Now, now, before I get into the breakdown of this build, I will say this, although I designed this build for PvE, it will actually work a lot better if you're in a group unless you're running through content on challenging, and this is because you won't be taking all the aggro from NPCs because this build lacks survivability big time. So by being in a group, you can basically hang back and deal out massive damage. But if you'd like to use this build solo, then knock yourself out, just make sure to run a reviver hive just in case you go down. Aside from that, it's a wonderful build to run, and for me, personally, I had a lot of fun with this build, so much so that I ended up saving it to my loadout, but anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so this headshot build is really nice with the Eagle Bearer. The Eagle Bearer is a very stable weapon, so it's a lot easier to land headshots as opposed to the Big Horn. However, the Eagle Bearer may not be so easy to get, so I'll show you good alternatives. Also, stick around if you're interested in seeing some more gameplay of the build in action because I'll be showing some more gameplay towards the end of the video. Okay, so for the primary weapon, I'm using the Eagle Bearer in this clip, but recently I actually swapped it out for the Bighorn because the Bighorn seems to be better since this is a headshot build. So if you have the Bighorn, then I suggest you go with that instead of the Eagle Bearer because you will be doing more damage. And that is because the Bighorn's weapon talent, Big Game Hunter, will grant you 4% headshot damage for each headshot stacking up to 25. So that's about 100% added headshot damage, which is great. Also, for the third attribute, I recommend rolling headshot damage. I have critical hit damage on mine because I got my big horn way back before re-rolling exotic weapons was even a thing. But if you don't have the big horn, the Eagle Bearer is still great, and some other alternatives are the St. Elmo's Engine, Shield Splinterer, or the Police M4. Okay, um, for the mask, I'm using the Coyote Mask. This mask is like a hallmark for DPS builds. It adds a great amount of damage for you and your team thanks to its talent, pack instincts, and so this talent will basically be giving you and your team an additional critical hit damage and chance, depending on the distance from the enemy. But if you don't have this mask, however, no worries because you can just use either a Fenris Group AB mask or a Walker Harris mask as an alternative. For the attributes, I'll show you what I have on all my gear pieces in just a sec, but ideally, you want to have critical hit chance and headshot damage. And for the vest, I'm wearing the named Henry piece that comes with Perfect Companion, the perfect companion talent is great because it will basically increase your total weapon damage by 20%. And for those who may not know, this talent gets activated when you are within 10 meters of an ally or a deployed skill. So what I like to do is run the Fixer Drone. The Fixer Drone will activate Companion while providing a bit of heals, which won't be much, but this build lacks survivability, so it helps. So yeah, this perfect Companion talent is a really good addition to the build, and if you don't have this vest, it's fairly easy to farm. However, just keep in mind that it will be a bit tricky getting the right attribute rolls on it. 
because this piece will always drop with a skill tier core attribute, so you will have to get super lucky and get either headshot and critical hit chance already rolled on it, so you can roll skill tier to weapon damage. But if you manage to get critical hit damage and chance rolled on it like I did, then that is also great. But to farm this named piece, I recommend running countdown or summit. And the reason for that is because both these missions allow you to select targeted loot. So just make sure that you select the electric brand set as your targeted loot. And to be honest, Countdown would be a lot better to run for this piece because one great thing about Countdown is the high volume loot drop. Like this mission needs to be called Loot Down, seriously. But anyway, for the holster, one piece Fenris Group AB with critical hit chance and headshot damage or a Walker Harris holster and a Fenris mask. Fenris is great because it adds 10% assault rifle damage though. So this is an alternate variation that will still work very well if you don't have the coyote mask. And for the backpack, one piece of the Habsburg brand set for an extra 15% headshot damage rolled with the talent Concussion. Concussion is a great talent for headshot builds because headshot kills will increase your total weapon damage by 15% for 10 seconds. For the gloves, I decided to go with one piece contractor for the 8% damage to armor, which adds a nice increased overall damage. And for the knee pads, one piece Providence Defense for the extra 15% headshot damage. This is a great piece to use for headshot builds. Okay, so um, I'm gonna show you guys the attributes on all of my pieces, then I'll show you the stats. Also, keep in mind that you don't need to have the same exact pieces as me. So for example, if you don't have Providence knee pads, but you have a Providence holster, then you can just use a Providence holster and Fenris group knee pads. For the stats on the Bighorn, 32% critical hit chance, 87% critical hit damage, and 201% headshot damage. And for the specialization, I went with Gunner for the 10% armor on kill bonus, but to be honest, just go with whatever floats your boat. For the skills, I'm using the Crusader Ballistic Shield to help a bit with survivability and the Fixer Drone to activate the Companion Talent. But again, feel free to use whatever suits your playstyle better. This build doesn't really have a mandatory skill requirement, so to speak. However, just keep in mind that in order to activate the companion talent on your chest piece, you need a deployable skill. So the pulse skill, for example, won't work. Okay, so one of the major cons of this build is the lack of survivability. So if all red damage builds aren't really your playstyle, then you're gonna struggle a bit. I'll keep it real with you, but if it's too much to handle, try running this build in a group, it'll be more enjoyable. By being in a group, your teammates can take some aggro from the NPCs away from you so you can deal out heavy damage in peace. But like I mentioned earlier, you can absolutely run this build solo, sure, but constantly getting slapped around and going down from NPCs will ruin the fun, in my opinion. But if you'd like to run solo, then use a Reviver Hive. And although this is by no means the greatest build in the game or anything crazy, like like Striker, it is still a fun build to use and it's different, so yeah. Another possible downside might be not landing your headshots most of the time, which actually shouldn't really be a problem because if you go all red with this build, you will still be dealing out a good amount of damage. But it shouldn't be that difficult to land mostly headshots since this is a PvE build. Unlike fighting players that like to strafe and move around a lot, yeah, that's a lot trickier. But the major pro is obviously the crazy amount of damage this build can deal out and even more so with the big horn. So there you have it. Let me know what you guys think of this build. This is Prajna. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. So yeah, try this build out. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and see you in the next video. Peace out.